Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and welcome to Modern Nanay. It's summertime! It's one of our most favorite time of the year because it's perfect for beach outing, hiking, and so many outdoor activities. And you don't have to worry about the weather because it's perfectly sunny, but expect a sizzling hot temperature. So today, we're gonna prepare an easy to make food or easy to cook food that is perfect for all your getaways. So what we have today is chicken kebab, chicken wraps, and a java rice. So let's start. To start with, we have to season the chicken with salt and pepper. Make sure to season both sides for a well blended taste. Bake the chicken for 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. This time, I'm using air fryer, but you could also grill the chicken. The chicken is now done, and it's time to make the filling. First, we need the mayonnaise. And then, we need the garlic powder. Then we have to season it with salt and a little bit of pepper. Now cut the chicken into chunks. Make sure to mix all the ingredients and the chicken is fully covered with mayonnaise. Now it's time to assemble! What I have here is a tortilla wrap. But you could also use any wraps that is available in the market. First, we have to layer the lettuce. Then add sliced tomato. Then some sliced onions. And a cucumber. You could fill the wraps with a generous amount of chicken, but you don't want to overfill your wraps because it will be difficult to fold later. In folding, first you have to fold the bottom and then do the side. Now the chicken wrap is done. Look how colorful it is. You could easily prepare this in the comfort of your home. Our next recipe is chicken kebab. For this recipe, I use chicken breast. You could also use chicken thigh. Other ingredients are green bell pepper, soy sauce, olive oil, oregano, minced garlic, and calamansi. Now combine all the ingredients to create a marinade. First is the green bell pepper. And then the soy sauce. And then the olive oil. And then the oregano. 
followed by the minced garlic. And a squeeze of calamansi juice or lime or you could use lemon. Mix it well until the chicken is fully covered. Refrigerate the chicken at least 2 hours or overnight for better absorption of the flavor. Time to skewers! Extra tip, you have to soak the steak for at least 30 minutes. By doing this, it will keep the chicken moist and not dry. Arrange the chicken alternately with the green bell pepper. This recipe could make 5 sticks of chicken kebab. Grill the chicken for 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken is cooked. For our last recipe, we will cook anato sauce. In a pan, place the olive oil or any cooking oil. Anato seeds. garlic and bay leaves Cook the oil in medium fire Let it simmer for 15 minutes When the oil starts to bubble Turn off the stove and let it cool for 30 minutes. Do not overcook your anato seeds or else you will have a bitter tasting sauce. Place a fine mesh strainer over a jar and pour the oil through the strainer. Discard all the other ingredients that is catch by the strainer. The anata sauce could last up to 4 weeks if properly sealed and refrigerated. Now the anata sauce is done, we can now create our java rice.
Pour the java rice, pour the annatto sauce to a cooked rice. Mix until you achieve the desired color and every rice is fully coated with the sauce. Java rice is a perfect partner of any grilled meat, and it's perfect for any occasion. For full recipe, please visit www.modernanay.com. That's it for today's video. Always remember, the secret ingredient of a delicious food is love. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And see you on my next video. Bye!